I think that you can lean on both sides of the equation. If you don't believe in the 10-year or lifetime prediction of events, it would be like saying, well, work indefinitely and don't worry about going on, on retirement at some point. Uh, you don't have to, buy, to be worrying about retirement. It may happen, it may not. Sure, you may die in a car accident, you may ne never get to retirement. But guess what? The majority of people will get to retirement age. will have to start thinking early about what happens later. So I'm not in this favor of using long-term predictions. I think that long-term predictions actually help people plan on their long-term care objectives. Now, as we, if you refer to the prediction of a sudden cardiac event tomorrow morning, and if I were to tell you, you have a 70% chance of having a sudden cardiac death tomorrow morning, what would be the solution to that? What would be the benefit of that? Would people admit themselves to the hospital and start getting angioplasties? Would they just sit on a sofa wait, waiting worriedly about the event? I don't think that that would make a major improvement in the overhealth behavior of the individual. I think that long-term predictions are a little bit more sensible from the point of view of prepare yourself over a lifetime of believing in cardiovascular risk prediction, in maintaining your health style, a healthy lifestyle. What I'm afraid I don't have the ability to do is to predict what we would be doing with the information. It may be great to know, it may be, as I said a moment earlier, I don't know that I would like to know about it, but let's assume that you are able to tell me that within six months I will develop an acute coronary events, event. The question is whether I can modify anything being a healthy individual. I'm not talking about people who are smoking, hypertensive, sedentary, well, we're obese. Those people. Uh, of course, people that have all the predisposing risk factors would be, I believe, more inclined to follow uh, the suggestion and the advice of the physician. But if you were to talk about population screening and talking to individuals essentially quote-unquote healthy, and if I were told that in six months I may have a very high chance of an event, what would I do next? That is the question that begets an answer. I think that all of the above are very nonspecific, unfortunately. The PSA is almost being abandoned now. We only use it for plus or minus risk. It's not even recommended in many states or in many health authorities. Um, a biopsy, I don't know where I would be biopsying, to be very honest. A mammogram, yes, a, chest, a CT of the chest for calcium score is similar to a mammogram.